Hey guys, Random Race here. How's it going, guys? Got a quick video for you guys today, and uh, apologize for the low light conditions, but um, this is, should be just a quick video. I've been getting a lot of comments on my uh, uh, Microsoft uh, wireless uh, keyboard and mouse set videos on uh, people having uh, wireless connectivity issues. So in this video today, I'm just going to show you guys how to connect your keyboard or mouse if you ever encounter that problem, or if you just plug it in and nothing happens. So, anyways, first thing you want to do is take your transceiver. Uh, this should apply to all wireless Microsoft uh, keyboards, um, pretty much any model, and they all come with a transceiver, honestly. So, first thing you want to do is plug it in. Then the uh, light's going to pop up. You want to hit that light, or button, I mean, and it's going to start blinking. When it starts blinking, you want to take your mouse, and you're going to see a little connectivity button there. You're going to hit that button, and the light should stop. Check on your computer screen. And it should work. Uh, same thing with the um, keyboard here. You're going to flip the keyboard over. Well, actually, first, you're going to hit the button again. And it'll start to blink. Hit the connect button. Uh, it doesn't matter how far you are, really, just as long as you're close like this. Hit the connect button, and the light should stop blinking. And both your keyboard and mouse should be connected. Also, you check on your computer screen and make sure it works. and you should be good to go and that's how easy is it is to uh, connect your mouse and keyboard to um, your computer so if you guys are ever experiencing wireless connectivity issues like lagging or your mouse and keyboard just stop working suddenly uh, that is one solution you can try to uh, fix that issue um, other reasons why your mouse and keyboard might be lagging or just not working your other you have bad batteries in it or they're dead so slap in some new batteries and hopefully that will fix that issue or the last thing you could do if the connect or if resetting the connectivity doesn't work and changing the batteries doesn't work, you could reinstall the software that came with your Microsoft keyboard and mouse, or or one or the other. Um, basically, all of them should come with a software called IntelliPoint, I believe. And uh, usually, you should install that so you can take advantage of all the buttons on your keyboard, mainly the media keys and such, because I I know I use those a lot, like volume and play. And uh, reinstall that software, or if you haven't, install that software and uh, that might fix the issue as, issue as well. So um, if neither of those three doesn't work, uh, last thing you could do is either return your product to the store or you could call up Microsoft and they will replace it for you uh, pretty much no questions asked. They're going to ask you to do three things I already mentioned to you, but just tell them you already done it and uh, you just you know want to ask them what they can do. Anyways, what, if you do ever have any problems with a keyboard and mouse set, either with a keyboard or mouse or both, um, tell them that and tell me where we tried resolving it and it didn't work and pretty much they're just gonna say do whatever you want with your uh, old uh, mouse and keyboard and they're gonna send you a replacement one exact same model or if it's discontinued they'll send you the next level of model because they obviously can't send you something uh, less of value than what you bought and uh, it usually takes about a week to deliver and uh, you should be good to go there um, all mouse and keyboards uh, from Microsoft have come with a three year warranty so they definitely stand by their products and um, definitely a decent customer service and the reason I say decent is because when I replaced my keyboard and mouse because I had issues with it mainly with the connectivity because every time I typed it started lagging and my mouse lagged I tried all those three things didn't help so uh, basically uh, my only complaint is, is the fact that all their customer representatives are in India and they speak Indian well, or not speak Indian they have an Indian accent so it's a little bit uh, hard understanding uh, some of them most of them I don't know, have decent um, English but uh, that's my only complaint but um, their f Microsoft's uh, customer service number should be on their packaging or their manual if not Google it and um, yeah, they are pretty decent customer service, and they'll just replace your product pretty much. You don't have to send it back. They don't want it. And uh, unless you want to request a refund, but um, seriously, guys, just keyboard and mouse. Just tell them you want to replace it, get a new keyboard and mouse, and if it screws up the second time, well, then maybe consider a refund. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully this helps uh, a lot of those guys who uh, are having wireless connectivity issues. Uh, one other issue I would like to... Um, uh, I'll tell you guys, it's mainly with the 7000 series mouse. I uh, don't know if the new models now uh, fix this, but um, a lot of you guys, when you put a new or er, put in the battery in, you might get the uh, yellow or not yellow red light up here, even though it's fully charged. The problem is, let me just turn it off for a second. 
The problem is, I'm going to do this with one hand. Okay, underneath the battery here, there's a little um, strip. And uh, when you put the battery in, um, it presses down on this little plastic strip and it tells the mouse that, yeah, there's a battery in it and it's uh, all good to go. But um, sometimes, I don't know, the earlier models, um, I've had, I haven't had this problem. Uh, this one was made in, manufactured in November 2009, so this is definitely a newer model. But the older models, um, they were having issues with the battery. And it's not the fact that the battery is not charged, it's just the fact that the battery isn't pressing down the strip enough. So the easiest fix for that is you don't need to buy a new battery, just grab some tape and wrap it around it like maybe once or twice. Uh, do it once first, put the battery in, try the mouse and see if it works. If it doesn't, put another another layer of tape around it and that should be enough to um, uh, trigger that sensor and let it know that you have a battery in the mouse and it's all good to go. So that's the issue with the mouses for those of you who are having battery issues. If that doesn't work well, then you're just going to need to call up Microsoft. Um, because uh, that's just a hardware issue and again they're pretty uh, easy on uh, replacing your products and it's a pretty simple process. Anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and if this helps uh, subscribe if you like and as always uh, rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.